What's up guys? So this past week we got the announcement of Warner Brothers take on the Super Smash Bros concept. And though many have claimed that Nickelodeon Brawl was going to be the downfall of the Smash franchise, as far as I know it didn't get that far. Though I don't think that this game in particular will end up dethroning Smash Bros, multiverses might be the closest thing that anyone can get to both replicating Smash Bros and possibly even being the next game to take the title of Smash Killer. So if you weren't aware. On November 18th, Warner Brothers Games unveiled a platform fighter that encompasses all of their properties from Batman and Superman, the faces of Adventure Time, and even Tom and Jerry, Bugs Bunny, and so much more. And honestly, with that information alone, the only words that I can use to define this game is the definition of potential. Because if you weren't already aware, Warner Brothers is one of the biggest entertainment industries in the world, and they have an absolutely ridiculous amount of franchises that they can throw into this game, which is the only reason why I say it potentially could be a smash killer. Because though most of their games aside from Mortal Kombat tend to be either Legos games or DC comic related, speaking of, you should go check out my podcast, the link is in the description, Warner Brothers owns a massive amount of film and TV show properties from Blade Runner, Lord of the Rings, The Matrix, Harry Potter, and every single show that you've ever seen on Cartoon Network. And obviously this all depends on execution, just like with every game, but if this game is done and is done well, then not only can we get what we all wanted to see from Nickelodeon Brawl, but we also get to see tons of characters and properties we never would have imagined in a game like this. Because before two weeks ago, if you were to tell me that Finn the Human was throwing hands with fucking Superman, I would have laughed at you and looked at you like Batman does his taxes. But on a serious note, between you and I, the biggest surprises for me were definitely Arya Stark who is even voiced by the actress who played her in Game of Thrones, as well as the rest of the cast all being voiced by their iconic voice actors. An interesting surprise is an original character they created for the game called Rain Dog, which shows me that all of the characters in this game aren't just going to be ones that we know and love, which is a unique spin, but is also slightly confusing because of how many properties Warner Brothers has at their disposal, but maybe there's a story mode for the game and Rain Dog has something to do with it. And given since in Rain Dog's bio it mentions something about a multiversal cataclysm, that might actually be why all of these characters are mashed together in this game. But only time will tell. Now, unlike with Nickelodeon Brawl, I'm actually waiting with bated breath to see more of this game. Especially with them telling us off rip that they will be adding way more characters, and the fact that they even slid in Ultra Instinct Shaggy shows me that these developers love what they are doing, which is never a bad thing. Or at least that means that they love memes, but either way, that is the greatest implementation of a meme I've ever seen. And on top of that, the game will be free to play, which means that there is absolutely no reason not to check it out, despite the fact that that's a little off-putting. Because honestly, I'm not really sure what to think, because they come out of the gate saying that this game will have great netcode and dedicated servers, which is a huge gamble on a free to play game. But they seem to be very dedicated to making a huge impression, not only as as a platform fighter, but also with its sights aimed on becoming an esports game, which is pretty ambitious and I respect it. As of right now, they definitely have my attention and I can't wait to see the new characters that they add in. They even mentioned that anything is possible with this game, so we might actually see a Smash Bros-esque roster with third party characters being thrown in. The icing on the cake is that this doesn't even rule out video game characters or characters from TV shows and movies. And the only reason why I'm not ruling any of this out entirely is because one of Shaggy's character skins is a homage to the Tekken character Martial Law. So this could mean we will see characters from different companies in all forms of the entertainment industry. I mean, I know I would love to see Iron Man or Captain America fighting Batman and Superman, and possibly even Laura Croft or Indiana Jones going up against Wonder Woman. And with Shaggy having the Ultra Instinct abilities that I mentioned earlier, if you aren't aware that is a reference to, well, Goku from Dragon Ball Z. So maybe we may end up seeing Goku and Vegeta show up and see what the hell's going on, which of course seems even less likely, but with Naruto and the rest of Team 7 making it into Fortnite of all things, it definitely isn't out of the realm of possibility. And with Batman Ninja existing, we definitely know that Warner Brothers isn't against dipping into the anime scene. Now is this actually a possibility? 
who knows, but he did say anything is possible. But with that being said, let's speculate some characters who have a more realistic chance of joining. So first off, obviously we have the biggest video game franchise that Warner Brothers owns, which is Mortal Kombat. And at this point of me recording, none of the Mortal Kombat characters have been shown in the game. And since Scorpion and Sub-Zero failed to make it in Smash, this is the second best thing. And of course, in this game, they're not going to be fighting with the likes of Sora from Kingdom Hearts or Steve from Minecraft for a spot in the game. And with that being said, of course, we have to have the faces of the franchise join. And honestly, I think it would be hilarious and amazing just to watch Scorpion and Wonder Woman yank each other from across the map. Now, as for their movesets, I extensively covered the moves that I would love to see both Scorpion and Sub-Zero have in Smash in this video right here. And since as far as I know, we don't have any information on the specific mechanics of this game and how it would differ from Smash. So I'm sure that it's going to be similar enough to where my video is isn't going to be way too far off. Now for the next set of characters that I would love to see in multiverses, we gotta throw some more DC characters in the game. And personally, I would love to see some of the more abstract ones, but if I had to bet on who would end up being in multiverses 1000%, Joker would definitely be one of them, since it's DC, one of the biggest properties that Warner Brothers has, and the only DC villain that we can see in this game so far is Harley Quinn. So I think it's a no brainer that Joker is gonna show up at one point. But that's the most obvious inclusion and it's not interesting enough to count. So another DC character that I would love to see would be Enchantress, Killer Frost, Zatanna, John Constantine, or even Dr. Fate. Basically any character that is magic based because aside from Steven Universe, so far they seem to be severely underrepresented in this game. And Steven seems to be more of a support based magic user, so even then an attack based magic user isn't represented whatsoever as far as I know. And before anyone says anything, I don't watch Steven Universe, so I don't know what that chick does whatsoever. Now, for the next character, since they have confirmed that every character will have a handful of alternate costumes, I think the best way to take advantage of that and make the most of that concept is by throwing in a Lego character. Because if we have a Lego character, then there's free reign for literally any character that has had their own line of Legos, or even their own Lego games, such as Star Wars, Marvel, or even Mario. The possibilities are literally infinite. And sure, they wouldn't be the most interesting characters, but think of them more as the Miis in Super Smash Bros. They would just pretty much be there just to have representation for whatever franchise that unfortunately doesn't make the cut. Despite that most of them at Disney and Nintendo probably will never end up in this game, it doesn't hurt to be optimistic, you know? And though we got some older cartoon love with Bugs Bunny and Tom and Jerry, as well as some newer representation with Finn, Jake, and Steven Universe reps, I would love to see some of the characters that I personally grew up watching, like Schnitzel from Chowder, Ben 10, Ed, Ed, and Eddie, or any one of the kids from Codename Kids Next Door. I personally think Ben 10 and Ed, Ed, and Eddie would be the most unique, but I wouldn't be mad with any inclusion that they chose. And now finally, for the rep to fill the Link slash Pit kind of role, for me personally, I would love to see Legolas from Lord of the Rings, because I think out of everyone in the Lord of the Rings franchise, the only possible additions would be either Aragorn or Legolas. And I personally would love to play as Legolas, and I think he would be so much fun to play as, because if you played Smash, he would literally end up being exactly like Pit and Link smack together. But with all of that being said, let me know what you guys think. Do you think that Multiverses is the next Smash killer? And what characters would you love to see join the roster? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Video.